Peter's cup of handball. Yeah. Well, live that Connor. faith. Live in the faith. faith. Live in the faith. Mr. Lagoonie, what do you think about today's playing handball? Who's your favourite? I've got to go with Flop. He's looking, Flop? He's looking on good form. Good form. Now, Mr. Flop, um, Cameron Lagoonie reckons that you're 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 the favourite to win today. I think I do have a good chance. I've been practicing for a few months now. And I'm pretty confident during the time. Here we have uh, Jordan Barrett, probably the most foxiest player in handball. Uh, Jordan, I just want to know why why aren't you out there today? As his coach, I've, I've advised him against it. He's, he's, there's, a, there's a slight injury in his wrist that's come up again. I, we just want him to recover fully before he goes out there on the pitch and plays. Here we have Owen Delamotte, uh, ambassador for Handball Australia, otherwise known as uh, vice captain for the school. Uh, Mr. Mr. Delamotte, what do you think about today's players? Oh well, they're certainly not a. a like, as high a caliber, I suppose. Um, Ethan Simmons, um, just really not, not going anywhere. We just had reports from Owen Delamite that you're, you're not up to handball Australia's standards. Oh, I'm a newbie here, okay? So I'm still training to reach my peak fitness in which I need to reach to play this game. But I'm playing it in the game anyway. You heard it here first, ladies and gentlemen, no, Ethan Simons. Thank you for your time, Mr. Simons. What are your thoughts about Courtney Hayes being such a strong competitor in today's play? Yeah, it's a really good thing. Uh, sexism is, is apparent in a lot of sports. It's, it's good that she's getting out there and, you know, showing that girls can play. Uh, here we have Michael Wellerman, uh, probably the biggest underdog in the school. Underdog. I just want to know, what type of strategy do you use when playing handball? How do you reach your goals? Get out! Get the ball. Well, fellas, uh, what do we think about today's play in the handball? I think Dylan Van Tempest is a horrible handball player and should be expelled from the league. Here we have uh, Aaron Hedges just called a timeout. Uh, what do you plan to do in your timeout, Mr. Hedges? Uh, plan to go to the toilet. Go to the toilet? We gather yourself. You get the thoughts together. I'm underperforming, so. You do that, Mr. Hedges. I'm on poison! I was on for about five minutes and then they sent me off for bad behaviour. Lachlan's a dog. Jeff Scott Brown has been accusing you of uh, being a dog player. Oh, I doubt that. <laughs> I doubt that was dog. That's all um, good play there. That's all, that's all it is. Team respected by my, um, my fellow mates. Every now and again. Every now and again. I show the same respect back to them all the time. <laughs> Nelson Fraser, the oldest person in the court today, uh, turning 18 soon. Mr. Fraser, how do you think your age helps you in terms of being the best handballer you can be? Tom, we went through this yesterday. As I said, it doesn't make a difference with age, it's the experience. It's the experience. It's the experience. That's all I have to say. You just got your fellow fellow woman out. Oh my god. Wow. I'm going to tell Sarah about this one. And then one of the women, uh, Navia Gruber, got the other one out, Courtney Hayne. Uh, competition is a very important factor I in him outside. In future, I hope that we can all promote feminism and equality in the workplace. Men, 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 manly men, 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 men. Here he is. The Foxy Bazaar has begun his play today. I can feel the pressure like now. No, but I'm watching these two. There seems to be something going on. Hey Brad, do you mind if yeah, do you mind if I sit there? Thank you. <sighs> I'd just like to make a comment that um I think the uh, you got that. the the conduct of uh, Mr. Men Tempest is um it's it's just unsportsmanlike. Dogging I oh, oh, I Dogging is just a bad act. I would never do it. In one word, describe Lachlan Van Tempest. Corrupt. What? I think Aaron nailed it. Corrupt. Corrupt, Corrupt. for sure. Dog! Early. One word. Um, cold. 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 I agree with that word. He is very cold. Hearted. Cold hearted. Cold -hearted. hearted. That's, that's a good, that's a good way to describe it. It's a compound word. Yeah, it's called. Is it? Is it? It's not really compound. You can add a hyphen. It's it's here we are.
Is Lachlan Van Tempest corrupt? Yeah. And that's coming from a Peruvian, ladies and gentlemen. I think we have our answer. What are, you, what are your thoughts on the game of handball? I, I didn't think it was a sport. So. Whoa! Whoa! Here we go, Mr. Hedges, do not be shoelaced. Uh, Mr. Hedges, what's going through your mind at the moment? Just have fun, mate. Just have fun. You are a golden child, you know that? No, but yeah, Lockie, I'm calling you out, mate. What was your thoughts of the, uh, the overall performance of everyone today? Oh, look, it was good. Improved. Everyone got involved. Um, I'd just like to announce that uh, Aaron Hedges, you are the man of the match. Oh, good well. job. Good job. Oh, thanks. These honours are high. Hi. And I take pride in these honours. And the vice captain gave it to me, so I'll take that. Thank you very much. Um, a bit unlucky um, with the shots that I played against him, but. The dog shots? Part of the game. No, they weren't dog shots. They were good shots. I beg to differ. Everyone claimed that you were a dog. Well dog deserved. Shot. He can... Well deserved. He played like a man. He didn't get it. Aaron Hedges got it.